I have a question. I don't know last time if you remember I was asking if I could file for my husband after I got hold of. Yes, you can. I don't remember you. I don't um, remember speaking to you, but yes, you can. Yeah, I got the answer for that. My today's question is, I heard from you, like, if you want to show that USCIS, like, your marriage is a real marriage, a bona fide marriage, you have to show them approve, like, to have joint account and file taxes Where, together. Where's your husband? He's here, and yeah, he's out yeah, of battle. Yeah, they'll, they may interview you, just similarly. It's possible. They don't interview every resident, but they do sometimes. I don't know how can we file taxes today, and then he didn't have any social security number. So when you file your 1040 return, you file married filing jointly, and you attach mm -hmm. a W-7 form to your 1040 return requesting the U.S. government to give your husband a tax identification number. We went to the bank to have a joint account, but they told us uh, we cannot have any joint account because he doesn't have any social. You can have a joint account. There's lots of banks that will give you a joint account. I don't know which bank you went to. But there's lots we of banks. We went to the Chase Bank. Oh, Chase actually does it. I mean, you just don't do an interest-bearing account. Because as soon as you oh, do they tell us, oh, we need an uh, EIN number. I don't know what that number is. That's the tax identification number I just told you about. Yeah, in order to get the tax they, identification number, how could I get that? By filing a 1040 return, and you attach a mm -hmm. W-7 form to it. Hold on for a consultation. That's what you need.